Okay, in this problem, we're actually going to do quite a bit with this piecewise function. Um, we're going to find the domain, locate the intercepts, we're going to graph the function, and then based on the graph, we're going to find the range. Now I'm going to actually do this out of order a little bit because I think it's a little bit easier uh, to graph the function and then find the intercepts as we're graphing. So, but that's my own personal um, thing there, so you, you don't necessarily have to follow that if you don't want to. I just think that it's much easier that way. Okay, so let's get started here. First of all, it says find the domain of each function. So if we're looking for the domain, let's think about what domain normally is. Domain means the set of x's that can go into this function. All the x's that we can use. Well, if you think about it, our categories here are talking about the x's, aren't they? So, let's draw this out on a number line and maybe it'll make a little bit more sense to us. If we were looking at our very first part of the graph here, <clears throat> this category says we're going to use this function if the x's are between negative 3 and 0. So let's see, if I put a negative 3 here, and 0 would be here, there is equality on negative 3, so it would get a bracket, and 0, there's no equality, so it would get a parenthesis. That very first category looks like this on a number line. Now for our second category, it says if x is 0. So now, according to that second one, 0 is actually a valid point. So we could actually say, yeah, 0 is good. If, if I have a 0, I'll plug it into this second equation. Now the third category says we're going to use this equation, the square root of x, if our x value is bigger than 0. Well, the x is bigger than 0 would go all the way over to the right, this way, forever and ever. This is a picture of what kind of x's we could use inside this function. So this will tell us our domain. Start reading this from left to right, we would start out at negative 3, and it has a bracket, and we would travel and use all of the x's going up to infinity. Now infinity always gets a parenthesis because we don't truly know where it is. It's just some magical place out there. This is how we're going to find our domain. I highly recommend drawing out a number line, especially until you get really good at being able just to look at those um, restrictions there. All right, now that we have that, let's begin graphing the function. And like I said, we're going to do this one piece at a time. First things first, we're going to graph this very first piece, 3 plus x. And if you're familiar with your library of functions, then you'll no recognize that this is a linear function. It should be some sort of a straight line doing something like that. Let's get a good picture of it, though, and see exactly what it looks like. So I'm going to go over here to my calculator, and in the calculator we're going to type in 3 plus x. And let's see what that looks like. Zoom 6. So again, it's that nice straight line, exactly what we had anticipated it to be. Now, because of that restriction in the domain, it said that we're only going to use the x's between negative 3 and 0. So negative 3, oops, where did my graph go there? Lost it. Let me get it right back here. Okay, according to our, um, our graph here, then negative 3 starts right about here somewhere and 0 is right about here. So I'm only interested in the graph between these two spots. I'm not interested in any of the rest of this. So this is the only portion of the graph we're going to take. Well, if I'm in trace mode, then at negative 3, we're at the point negative 3, 0. And at 0, we're at the point 0, 3. So if I go back to my drawing, here, I can go ahead and I can draw that in, starting at negative 3, 0, and going all the way over to the point 0, 3, but not including it. So for that first part of the graph, this is the only portion that we are going to take. Everything else we're going to throw away, and we'll continue graphing the rest in the next video.